Oh god. They're going to zero. Worst purchase ever. My patron Corey bought these two boxes. Rudy, bring me some flipping good luck. And I said, well, Corey, by the time you get these cards, I think the clear wrapper will have the most value. I was told by all the scholars on the internet that Zendikar Rising is now worthless and going to zero. Because all the money has been absorbed by Jeweled Lotus. Folks, welcome to November. Today is November 1st, 2020. As we almost end and make it through <laughs> everybody's favorite year of 2020. <sighs> I know. What a, what a world. What a time. What a time to be alive, ladies and gentlemen. That looks like me on Wednesdays. Here we go. Maddening Kakafupuku Papa Peepeshire. Rudy the Giant Oversized Ox. We got a nice Lotus Cobra coming through with Rudy wants to really be in the picture today. And the construct for our very first showcase fancy schmancy. So what do I call that? Is that a box topper? Is that extended art? Because is that because of Ultimate Masters and the box? Is it still called that? Or are we not allowed to say box topper? Like I don't understand the shenanigans. I feel like too, one of these, you know how these type of inscriptions, these choose your own destiny type cards, I always call them. Because you choose something and they have the kicker. I always feel like there's always one version of those particular cards that always end up going up in value long term. Ooh, pathway, very nice. I always feel that way every single time I see choice cards. Reminds me of that collective, very nice skydiver. Um, what was it, collective brutality? Is that what it was from Eldritch Moon? Same thing. One of those, all those choice cards, there's always one of them that always ends up actually being decent. And the rest always end up in like bulk land, you know what I mean? Mythic number one, the Ruin Thief there, very nice. Is that 007? What is this from? Is this, um, Commander, maybe? Ooh, Ancient Green Warden. Foil Mythic. Wow. Okay. That's really spicy. And coming through. Jeez. Third Mythic in a row. Mr. Jace, who's smiling, even though he's worthless in this set. Goodness gracious. Three flippin' Mythics. Look at this pack. Holy smokes. With a flippin' pathway. Full Monty on there. Uh, let's do a, let's do a box stopper here, folks. Um, sorry, it's getting a little dark. The lighting's changing here. We got some uh, natural lighting today, but man, it's uh, some bad weather here. Oh, my. Well, I dropped the card. We have a light played. Oh, Promenade. No, nah, I'm kidding. We got a very nice pack fresh. Bountiful Promenade. Not the greatest, Corey. Not the greatest, man. Definitely not really the card we're looking for right out of the gate. All right, here we go, folks. Here we go. All right, we got Guide Beast. Very nice. We got Sculptor for the Foil Rare. We got a nice little <laughs> Dreadworm always makes me smile. And another Pathway for the Full Art version there. We got the old fella. To oh! <coughs> oh, hello, Molten Pinnacle, holy smokes, um, for the Expedition Foil Fancy Schmancy Box Topper, let's crack another one, man, we're on a roll there, wow, I, 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 I was I'm not used to that, actually, like, expeditions in these things, it's crazy, ah, Arid Mesa, thank you, there we go, Enemy Fetchland, Coming in. Very, very nice. Very, very solid. Okay. Well, we just laid the framework for a very... Oh, Apparition. This one's uh, been still... Uh, wow. Symbiosis. Foil Mythic again. That's our second green foil Mythic. Holy smoke. We got the shade. And we got... All right, all right. Crazy, creepy Rudy flying through again. Uh, I don't know. So is everybody like, is, is collector boxes still considered the best, or is everybody like really obsessed with like the set boxes now? Where are we at? Where's everybody feeling right now, you know? Uh, giant Rudy Ox, like what are we bouncing around at right now? We got Pathway, very nice. Another Giant Rudy Ox. Here comes the inscription for the box topper there. I have to admit, compared to all the packaging though, collector boxes do have the best packaging ever. They're small. I mean, look at that, look at that. By far, the best packaging they make. Not oversized, bunch of junk. It's small and concise. It's good quality. All right, Swarm. Uncommon. And another Kaza Royal Chaser. Reminds me of Aladdin on the flying carpet. The old Rogue Wizard, I believe. Is it Rogue? No, Human Wizard. I'm sorry. Human Wizard. All right, come on. Skydiver. We got Soul Shatter there coming through. We got ourselves the Dreadworm again. We got ourselves Mr. Logic. Ooh, Locus of Creation for the Mythic. Showcase framework, ladies and gentlemen. Balith, and look at this again. Another God, lay the mythics we're getting. Shatter Skull Smashing Box Topper Mythic. 
My goodness, the quantity of mythics in this video is out of control. I'm going to get flashbacks of like Theros. Remember we were counting all the mythics in Theros? We might have to start doing mythic counting on the next video here. Pathway. We got the uh, uncommon. Here comes our box topper. Coveted prize for the nice sorcery box topper. Very nice looking. Looks like the inscription artwork. Like they're going after that uh, that gem or that, that jewel. Very cool there. Yeah, we might have to start counting mythics, everybody. I feel like some of these things, we are getting insane amounts of mythics. Crawling Barons, and there we go. We got the little tiny insect dude going beep, boop, 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 beep, boop, boop. And we got World Sculptor, the showcase rare. We got ourselves, I love that beautiful purple and red colors. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. Grove of the Burns Willows. Golly, that looks nice. Okay. All right, I'm not going to downplay that. That flipping looks pretty, that looks pretty flipping beautiful. Holy smokes. Uh, another symbi. Wow, really? Another mythic of that? Pathway. We got the two showcases. We got the rare mammoth showcase, the foil showcase, and look at that. Litho forming for the box topper. I don't know. I kind of feel like just those expeditions alone are going to be, those are going to carry the value of this thing long term, everybody. I'm really priest. Very nice. I'm sitting over here going, dude, this thing's the value pathway. And oh, again? Oh my goodness, Drawn of the Last Blood, another foil mythic showcase. Dude, ladies and gentlemen, that box one, Corey. I don't know what the value was, if anybody wants to start tracking values or anything, but my goodness, the amount of mythics and foil mythics on that is completely absurd. Holy smokes, that's nutsos, man. All right, here we go. Box two, I don't know if we're going to top that. All right, Litho Forming, here we go. Ruiz Giant Ox, Lotus Cobra, very nice uh, showcase rare there. We got the old Geopede, and really? Really? We end the first box on a box topper Drana. We start box two, like, holy crap. And I'm telling you, any other time in Magic's history, people will be losing their mind right now. Seagate Stormcaller, here we go. Extended Art Mythic. Shield, very nice. Another, remember, Blue Pathways are the most expensive still. And we got Master of Winds for the Box Topper. I don't know. I have a hard time believing the, you know, the value of these things can even drop or a lot or do much. And, whoa, 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 Fury. We got Mr. Minotaur Mythic over here. A little dark looking on that one. And we got the two commons. We got the Felidar for the uh, showcase. And Legion Angel for the Box Topper. Let's slap in. Let's, uh... Let's go with an expedition, here, shall we, folks? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, going right to expedition land. Number one, good luck, Corey. Oh, my God. Fold my taco to the pretzel. Are you serious? Scolding flippin' tarn. The most expensive. And we just got an arid mesa. Wow. All right, we're just going to open the other one because this is out of control. There's no way. This has got to be the worst one to balance out this video, Corey. Copper line. Wait, didn't we get copper line? No, that was the promenade. Oh my goodness. You hit a flippin' arid mesa in a scalding in the same flippin' video. I'm pretty sure those two cards alone probably pay for the whole flippin' box. Wow. Here comes beautiful Miss Nisa. I don't know if any of the planeswalkers are. Is anybody. Are planeswalkers burnt out and done ever since War of the Spark? And Awakening. Very, very nice. I was like, what the heck is going on? Okay, okay. Crazy, but we'll go with another four, Another mythic symbiosis. Are you serious? Rudy has crabs again. Oh my god, the blue pathway, the best one. Brushfire elemental. Oh, this time our very first lotus cobra. Wow. This time, I'm sorry, the very first lotus cobra that's actually showcase foil. We have, we've been getting them, but not the foil showcase, just the regular. I have to admit, it's a heck of a surprise when you see uh, an expedition right in the middle of your pack, man. I gotta admit, that really does catch me off guard. That is something you do not prepare for. And Guide Beast. Crazy. Alright. So from what I've gathered from everything so far, besides, this is video number 3 out of 20. I'm learning, I'm learning, folks. Cut me some slack. Um, on average, you pull two additional ex foil expeditions from the packs. Nice little pathway. Oh! Oh! Strip mine! Whoa! 
Okay. All right. Um, what's with the artwork? Does it look kind of blah to me, or is it just maybe? It might be my lighting and camera today, everybody. The artwork looked a little blah. Sorry, like I said, we got some weird weather and everything. It's really messing with everything. Um, wow. I didn't even know strip mine was okay. Well, that's surprising. Exploration. We got Squid Man, and we got the Voyager box topper. The last few packs here, the, we've only had one box where we actually hit three expeditions within the box. Everything else was just the normal um, two within the box. So hopefully we can see some uh, crazy shenanigans. We got the pickaxe and the inscription of abundance, everybody. You know, when I compare this to all the other boxes, because remember, we, we've been cracking these collector boxes since they came out with Throne. And I have to admit, this one, that extra little touch of being able to get an actual lottery, ooh, Fury, expedition card within the box is kind of a big deal, folks. That really is kind of a big deal. Because that changes the calculations and the value of the product. In long term, ooh, Shatter Skull Smashing, Foil Mythic, that's very nice, holy crap. And I'm not really sure what that's going to do long term. That's a tricky one. Oh my goodness. Oh, God. Chalupa wrapped in a gordita on the discontinued Mexican pizza. Celestial colonizer, the foil. Wow. Okay. Wow. So that's it. That was our last one, huh? Well, we have four and four, right? Very last pack. We're wrapping it up here. Holy smokes. And I'll give you guys kind of a little opinion summary here on where we're at. Uh, Sky Shade. Hope's Demise. Oh, I haven't seen that one. I haven't seen the, the box topper version of that. Corey, overall pretty good. Um, this is it. I just, I'm really fascinated by, on a two boxes, you always get four and four. The f or actually, sometimes we hit five or more. But so far, besides one box we did for a patron the other day, um, everybody's been getting, you get two foil, two non-foil in each box. That's a, I mean, that's kind of a big deal. If you're paying, even even if you're paying $250 a box, which I know by the time this goes live, I'm sure the price will be lower. I mean, four of these cards, and what's the average value of these things? 30 bucks a piece? 40? 20? I don't, I mean, even if they're $30 a card average, that's $120. Now, I know some of these, when you get things like Arid Mesa, Scolding Tarns, Strip Mine, I mean, these are going to be worth more than $20, $30. But still, if you assume $120 in value, just from those expeditions, that's insane. Like, how can the, I don't, that means the entire regular booster box and all the cards and showcase and all these mythics, all you need to do is get like $100 in value? That, that's crazy, man. All right, thanks for watching. This is video number three out of 20, everybody. Thanks, Corey. All these beautiful things are heading your way. What a time to be in magic, folks. What a time.